Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. I'm introducing a brand new way to understand and visualize data. In our information age, there's huge amounts of data available. But making sense of it can be an intractable problem. This is me with a couple of our dogs in Black Canyon City, Arizona. I've been developing data analysis software for very large engineering and science projects for over 50 years. And now I'm making that software available to everybody. The best way to explain this software is by demonstrating some use cases. I'm using Google Chrome and I'm going to go to app.visitech.ai. But before you use the app for the first time, I suggest some changes to Google Chrome settings. Click on Downloads and unselect both of these settings. Now we can go to app.visitech.ai. This is what the website looks like. The software has a huge amount of functionality, as you will quickly discover. There will be lots of detailed tutorials coming soon. In this introductory video, I'm going to quickly go through some use cases. The first example is looking at stock prices. I'm going to click on the green microphone button at lower left and then talk to the computer. When I'm done talking, I'm going to press the Enter key on the keyboard. The first time you click on the microphone button, Chrome may ask you a question. It's very important that you click on Allow while visiting this site. I'm going to click on the microphone button and make some AI enhanced queries. NVIDIA stock price. Let's do it again. Tesla stock price. Apple stock price. Microsoft stock price. There's no practical limit to how many lines we can plot. Now I'm going to right click and drag to zoom in on an area. Let's do that again to zoom in a little more. Now you can see what's plotted. It's a candlestick chart for the four different stocks I mentioned. If we move the mouse and hover over one of these points, it will show you exactly what the date and value was for that stock. We can also use the left mouse button to drag the screen around. Now I'm going to press the reset zoom button at upper left. If I put the mouse at the right side and hover over NVIDIA closing price, it will show NVIDIA in red. I can do the same thing for Tesla, Apple, and Microsoft. I will soon do a more detailed tutorial on stock prices, but now let's go to the next use case. The first thing I'm going to do is hit this red reset button. Now I'm going to go to a Google Sheets tab and select some data. I'm going to copy three different time series. Now let's go back to the graphing tab. In order to graph the data, I can either click on the Add Clipboard Data button or come over here and press Control V. Now we have graphs of those three time series, and we can do what we did before with the stock prices. Let's reset the zoom and just look at one of the graphs. If we want to look at this as a bar chart, we can click on this box. And we can come up here and select a different data set. I'm going to unclick the bar chart button, and then come over here and press the capital A key. Now we can see all three data sets. These graphs are U.S. temperatures, and you can see that it was very warm in the United States during 1934. Now let's do another use case. I'm going to hit the reset button. I'm going to ask AI for all Illinois daily temperatures. Illinois temperatures. We're now looking at about 1.5 million daily maximum temperatures recorded in Illinois. And if we hover over the right side, we can see the daily temperature data for individual cities in Illinois. Let's zoom in on some of these really hot temperatures. By hovering the mouse over the point, we can see that on July 14, 1954, it was 115 degrees at Pana, Illinois. Now I'm going to left click and drag and look at some older, very hot temperatures in Illinois. On July 14, 1936, it was 114 degrees at Mount Vernon, Illinois. Now let's hit the reset zoom button. 
This data is a little hard to understand, so now I'm going to tell AI, graph by year. Now we can look at average daily maximum temperatures for each individual day of the year in each year since 1892. A really interesting year is 1936, which was very cold during late January and early February, and then got extremely hot during the summer. Let's look at 1934. During 1934, there were four major heat waves in Illinois. Now let's hit reset and do something related. I'm going to ask AI for the longest stretch of 90 degree days in Illinois. Longest stretch of 90 degree days in Illinois. The longest stretch of 90 degree days in Illinois was 62 at Sparta during 1934. Let's look at this as a bar chart by clicking on the bar chart square. I'm going to set the minimum Y to 90 degrees. Now I'm going to set the maximum Y to 115 degrees. Now let's set the horizontal grid size to 5 by clicking on settings. And let's enter a title over here. The vertical axis is degrees F. And the horizontal axis is date. Now we have a nice graph and can take a screenshot of it by pressing this button. If we come over here to our downloads, we can see that we created a PNG image of this graph. We just collected some very interesting information about temperatures in Illinois, which would have been very difficult to come by by any other means. The capabilities of this tool are almost infinite, but for the sake of brevity in this video, I'm just going to look at a couple more use cases. Let's look at U.S. drought data next. Drought. You can see that the worst U.S. drought occurred during August 1934. Now I'm going to press the E key on the keyboard to bring up a drought map. You can see that during August 1934, drought covered most of the United States. Now let's look at the map for the previous month by pressing the shift left arrow key. And we can cycle through the maps by repeatedly pressing the shift left arrow or shift right arrow keys. Let's graph this data by year. Graph by year. We can see that the worst drought year in the United States was 1934. And we can see that 1983 was very wet. Let's try another use case. Hurricanes. Now we can see all the hurricanes in NOAA's hurricane database. Using the controls at the bottom, you can see that the United States was hit by seven hurricanes during the year 1886. As I mentioned previously, the possibilities for this tool are almost infinite. But for the sake of brevity in this video, I'm just going to look at one more use case. Antarctic sea ice. Now we're looking at all of the daily Antarctic sea ice data since 1978 in the NOAA database. Let's graph this data by year. Graph by year. You can see that Antarctic sea ice extent was very high during the year 2014. Last year Antarctic sea ice extent was low, and this year it's been just about average. I said that was going to be the last use case, but I need to show you one more because it's important. Let's look at the NOAA website for sea level data at Bergen, Norway. I'm going to click the Export to CSV button on the NOAA website. This downloaded a CSV file, which I'm going to drag into the graphing window. NOAA gave me four data sets, and I'm not interested in three of them, so I'm going to X them out and make them go away. Now let's rename this series so that we remember what it is. Now let's add the sea level data for Wajima, Japan. Once again, I will drag it over from Chrome Downloads. I want to rename this series, and I want to get rid of these other three series. 
we could add in as many of these sea level graphs as we wanted. And we can zoom, pan, and analyze the data just like we were doing before. Now I'm going to show you how to get started on app.visitech.ai. This app is designed to be used on Google Chrome on a relatively large screen. You will have to create an account. This will create a free account which does not have a lot of features. You can get lots of climate data like all the temperatures in Connecticut. If you want to use most of the features I've been showing you, you'll have to be a paid subscriber. To do that, click on the subscribe button. Read and accept the terms of use. This will take you to a standard secure Google checkout page. The subscription cost is $20 per month, which is pretty typical for AI apps. This will give you full access to all of the features I've been showing you, and if you decide to cancel your subscription, you can click unsubscribe at any time and confirm. This is a brand new product. It likely has a lot of bugs, and support is very limited. We are a very small team. The AI capabilities are also limited though in the future we intend to make it a general data tool. I'll be adding a lot of tutorials as well as new features in the near future. We will also be offering custom solutions for people who are very serious about their data. To get more information about the company, you can see our main page at visitech.ai. This introduction is very exciting for me. I've been working on it for a long time. The sky is the limit for this app. But be aware before you sign up that support is limited and there are bugs. I hope to see you on our website soon.